Genesis chapters 26 through 35 of the Holy Bible, American Standard Version. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 26 And there was a famine in the land, besides the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And Jehovah appeared unto him, and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these lands. And I will establish the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father, and I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these lands, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister, for he feared to say, My wife, lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fair to look upon. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out at a window, and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebekah his wife. And Abimelech called Isaac, and said, Behold, of a surety she is thy wife, and how saidst thou, She is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, Lest I die because of her. And Abimelech said, What is this thou hast done unto us? One of the people might easily have lain with thy wife, and thou wouldst have brought guiltiness upon us. And Abimelech charged all the people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. And Isaac sowed in that land, and found in the same year a hundredfold. And Jehovah blessed him, and the man waxed great and grew more and more, until he became very great. And he had possessions of flocks, and possessions of herds, and a great household, and the Philistines envied him. Now all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped, and filled with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence, and encamped in the valley of Gerar, and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley, and found there a well of springing water. And the herdsmen of Gerar strove with Isaac's herdsmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Esek, because they contended with him. And they digged another well, and they strove for that also. And he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence, and digged another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now Jehovah hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Beersheba. And Jehovah appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. And he builded an altar there, and called upon the name of Jehovah, and pitched his tent there. 
and there Isaac's servants digged a well. Then Abimelech went to him from Gerar, and Ehuzeth his friend, and Phicol the captain of his host. And Isaac said unto them, Wherefore are ye come unto me, seeing ye hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We saw plainly that Jehovah was with thee, and we said, Let there now be an oath betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, that thou wilt do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace. Thou art now the blessed of Jehovah. And he made them a feast, and they did eat and drink. And they rose up betimes in the morning, and sware one to another. And Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day, that Isaac's servants came, and told him concerning the well which they had digged, and said unto him, We have found water. And he called it Sheba. Therefore the name of the city is Beersheba unto this day. And when Esau was forty years old, he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beeri the Hittite, and Basimath, the daughter of Elon the Hittite and they were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. End of chapter 26 Chapter 27 And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his elder son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Here am I. And he said, Behold now, I am old, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me venison, and make me savoury food such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savoury food, that I may eat and bless thee before Jehovah, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savoury food for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he may eat, so that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father peradventure will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son, only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savoury food, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took the goodly garments of Esau, her elder son, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son, and she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savoury food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father, and said, My father! And he said, Here am I, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit, and eat of my venison, 
that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because Jehovah thy God sent me good speed. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which Jehovah hath blessed. And God give thee of the dew of heaven, and of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and new wine. Let peoples serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be every one that blesseth thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet scarce gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also made savory food, and brought it unto his father. And he said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who then is he that hath taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest, and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with an exceeding great and bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with guile, and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with grain and new wine have I sustained him. And what then shall I do for thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, of the fatness of the earth shall be thy dwelling, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt break loose, that thou shalt shake his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob, because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. 
and the words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran, and tarry with him a few days, until thy brother's fury turn away, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send, and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be bereaved of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth such as these, of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? End of chapter 27 Chapter 28 And Isaac called Jacob, and blessed him, and charged him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee, and make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, that thou mayest be a company of peoples and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee, and to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land of thy sojournings, which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac sent away Jacob, and he went to Padan Aram unto Laban, son of Bethuel the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. Now Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob, and sent him away to Padan Aram, to take him a wife from thence, and that as he blessed him he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan, and that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother, and was gone to Padan Aram. And Esau saw that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father, and Esau went unto Ishmael, and took besides the wives that he had, Mahaleth, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebaioth, to be his wife. And Jacob went out from Beersheba, and went toward Haran, and he lighted upon a certain place, and tarried there all night, because the sun was set, and he took one of the stones of the place, and put it under his head, and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set upon the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, Jehovah stood above it, and said, I am Jehovah, the God of Abraham thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee whithersoever thou goest and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely Jehovah is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid, and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning, and took the stone that he had put under his head, and set it up for a pillar, and poured oil upon the top of it, and he called the name of that place Bethel. 
but the name of the city was Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, and Jehovah will be my God, then this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house, and of all that thou shalt give me I will surely give the tenth unto thee. End of chapter 28 Chapter 29 then Jacob went on his journey, and came to the land of the children of the east. And he looked, and behold, a well in the field, and lo, three flocks of sheep lying there by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks, and the stone upon the well's mouth was great. And thither were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth, and watered the sheep and put the stone again upon the well's mouth in its place. And Jacob said unto them, My brethren, whence are ye? And they said, Of Haran are we. And he said unto them, Know ye Laban the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. And he said unto them, Is it well with him? And they said, It is well. And behold, Rachel his daughter cometh with the sheep. And he said, Lo, it is yet high day, neither is it time that the cattle should be gathered together. Water ye the sheep, and go and feed them. And they said, We cannot, until all the flocks be gathered together, and they roll the stone from the well's mouth, then we water the sheep. While he was yet speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass, when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Jacob went near, and rolled the stone from the well's mouth, and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. And Jacob kissed Rachel, and lifted up his voice, and wept. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's brother, and that he was Rebekah's son. And she ran and told her father. And it came to pass, when Laban heard the tidings of Jacob his sister's son, that he ran to meet him, and embraced him, and kissed him, and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, Surely thou art my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. And Laban said unto Jacob, Because thou art my brother, shouldest thou therefore serve me for naught? Tell me, what shall thy wages be? And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Leah's eyes were tender, but Rachel was beautiful and well favored. And Jacob loved Rachel. And he said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had to her. And Jacob said unto Laban, Give me my wife for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place, and made a feast. And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. And Laban gave Zilpah his handmaid unto his daughter Leah for a handmaid. And it came to pass in the morning that, behold, it was Leah, and he said to Laban, What is this thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve with thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? And Laban said, It is not so done in our place to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill the weak of this one, and we will give thee the other also for the service 
which thou shalt serve with me yet seven other years. And Jacob did so, and fulfilled her week, and he gave him Rachel his daughter to wife. And Laban gave to Rachel his daughter Bilhah his handmaid to be her handmaid. And he went in also unto Rachel, and he loved also Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. And Jehovah saw that Leah was hated, and he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Reuben, for she said, Because Jehovah hath looked upon my affliction, for now my husband will love me. And she conceived again, and bare a son, and said, Because Jehovah hath heard that I am hated, he hath therefore given me this son also, and she called his name Simeon. And she conceived again, and bare a son, and said, Now this time will my husband be joined unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. And she conceived again, and bare a son. And she said, This time will I praise Jehovah. Therefore she called his name Judah, and she left off bearing. End of chapter 29 Chapter 30 And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister. And she said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in God's stead, who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold, my maid Bilhah, go in unto her, that she may bear upon my knees, and I also may obtain children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her handmaid, to wife. And Jacob went in unto her, and Bilhah conceived, and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son. Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With mighty wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left off bearing, she took Zilpah, her handmaid, and gave her to Jacob to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, bare Jacob a son. And Leah said, Fortunate, and she called his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me happy. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest, and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them unto his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken away my husband, and wouldest thou take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore, he shall lie with thee to-night for thy son's mandrakes. And Jacob came from the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him, and said, Thou must come in unto me, for I have surely hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night, and God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived, and bare Jacob a fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I gave my handmaid to my husband, and she called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again, and bare a sixth son to Jacob. And Leah said, God hath endowed me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. 
and afterwards she bare a daughter, and called her name Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb, and she conceived and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach, and she called his name Joseph, saying, Jehovah, add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had borne Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go unto mine own place, and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go, for thou knowest my service, wherewith I have served thee. And Laban said unto him, If now I have found favour in thine eyes, tarry, for I have divined that Jehovah hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle have fared with me. For it was little which thou hadst before I came, and it hath increased unto a multitude, and Jehovah hath blessed thee whithersoever I turned. And now when shall I provide for mine own house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me aught. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed thy flock and keep it. I will pass through all thy flock to-day, removing from thence every speckled and spotted one, and every black one among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for me hereafter, when thou shalt come concerning my hire that is before thee. Every one that is not speckled and spotted among the goats, and black among the sheep, that if found with me shall be counted stolen. And Laban said, Behold, I would it might be according to thy word. And he removed that day the he-goats that were ring-streaked and spotted, and all the she-goats that were speckled and spotted, every one that had white in it, and all the black ones among the sheep, and gave them into the hand of his sons. And he set three days' journey betwixt himself and Jacob, and Jacob fed the rest of Laban's flocks. And Jacob took him rods of fresh poplar, and of the almond, and of the plane tree, and peeled white streaks in them, and made the white appear which was in the rods. And he set the rods which he had peeled over against the flocks in the gutters and the watering troughs where the flocks came to drink. And they conceived when they came to drink, and the flocks conceived before the rods, and the flocks brought forth ring-streaked, speckled, and spotted. And Jacob separated the lambs, and set the faces of the flocks toward the ring-streaked, and all the black in the flock of Laban. And he put his own droves apart, and put them not unto Laban's flock. And it came to pass, whensoever the stronger of the flock did conceive, that Jacob laid the rods before the eyes of the flock in the gutters, that they might conceive among the rods. But when the flock were feeble, he put them not in. So the feebler were Laban's, and the stronger Jacob's. And the man increased exceedingly, and had large flocks, and maidservants, and men-servants, and camels, and asses. End of chapter 30 Chapter 31 And he heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before time. 
And Jehovah said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before time, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your father, and your father hath deceived me, and changed my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, The speckled shall be thy wages, then all the flock bear speckled. And if he said thus, The ring-streaked shall be thy wages, then bear all the flock ring-streaked. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father, and given them to me. And it came to pass, at the time that the flock conceive, that I lifted up mine eyes, and saw in a dream, and behold, the he-goats which leaped upon the flock were ring-streaked, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of God said unto me in the dream, Jacob, and I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see, all the he-goats which leap upon the flock are ring-streaked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest a pillar, where thou vowedst a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy nativity. And Rachel and Leah answered, and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not accounted by him as foreigners? For he hath sold us, and hath also quite devoured our money. For all the riches which God hath taken away from our father, that is ours and our children's, now then, whatsoever God hath said unto thee, Do. Then Jacob rose up, and set his sons and his wives upon the camels. And he carried away all his cattle, and all his substance, which he hath gathered, the cattle of his getting, which he had gathered in Padan Aram, to go to Isaac his father, unto the land of Canaan. Now Laban was gone to shear his sheep, and Rachel stole the teraphim that were her father's, and Jacob stole away unawares to Laban the Syrian, in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river, and set his face toward the mountain of Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled, and he took his brethren with him, and pursued after him seven days' journey, and he overtook him in the mountain of Gilead. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream of the night, and said unto him, Take heed to thyself that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. And Laban came up with Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mountain, and Laban with his brethren encamped in the mountain of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done, that thou hast stolen away unawares to me, and carried away my daughters as captives of the sword? Wherefore didst thou flee secretly, and steal away from me, and didst not tell me, that I might have sent thee away with mirth and with songs, with tabret and with harp, and didst not suffer me to kiss my sons and my daughters? Now hast thou done foolishly. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the God of your father spake unto me yesternight, saying, Take heed to thyself, that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. And now, though thou wouldest needs be gone, because thou sore longst after thy father's house, yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, 
for I said, lest thou shouldest take thy daughters from me by force. With whomsoever thou findest thy gods, he shall not live. Before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. And Laban went into Jacob's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the tent of the two maidservants, but he found them not. And he went out of Leah's tent, and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the teraphim, and put them in the camel's saddle, and sat upon them. And Laban felt about all the tent, but found them not. And she said to her father, Let not my lord be angry that I cannot rise up before thee, for the manner of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not the teraphim. And Jacob was wroth, and chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, What is my trespass, what is my sin, that thou hast hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast felt about all my stuff, what hast thou found of all thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge betwixt us two. These twenty years have I been with thee. Thy ewes and thy she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flocks have I not eaten. That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto thee. I bear the loss of it. Of my hand didst thou require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was. In the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep fled from mine eyes. These twenty years have I been in thy house, I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy flock. And thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac hath been with me, surely now hadst thou sent me away empty. God hath seen mine affliction, and the labor of my hands, and rebuked thee yesternight. And Laban answered and said unto Jacob, The daughters are my daughters, and the children are my children, and the flocks are my flocks, and all that thou seest is mine. And what can I do this day unto these my daughters, or unto their children whom they have borne? And now come, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone, and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones. And they took stones, and made a heap. And they did eat there by the heap. And Laban called it Jager Sehadutha, but Jacob called it Gilead. And Laban said, This heap is witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Gilead, and Mizpah, for he said, Jehovah watch between me and thee, when we are absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, and if thou shalt take wives besides my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold the pillar, which I have set betwixt me and thee. This heap be witness, and the pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. The God of Abraham and the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge betwixt us. And Jacob sware by the fear of his father Isaac, and Jacob offered a sacrifice in the mountain, and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread, and tarried all night in the mountain. And early in the morning Laban rose up, and kissed his sons and his daughters, and blessed them. And Laban departed, and returned unto his place. 
End of chapter 31 Chapter 32 And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And Jacob said when he saw them, This is God's host, and he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau his brother unto the land of Seir, the field of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye say unto my lord Esau, Thus saith thy servant Jacob, I have sojourned with Laban, and stayed until now, and I have oxen, and asses, and flocks, and men-servants, and maid-servants, and I have sent to tell my lord, that I may find favour in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and moreover he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid, and was distressed, and he divided the people that were with him, and the flocks, and the herds, and the camels, into two companies. And he said, If Esau come to the one company, and smite it, then the company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, O Jehovah, who saidst unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will do thee good. I am not worthy of the least of all the loving-kindnesses, and of all the truth which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two companies. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he come and smite me, the mother with the children. And thou saidst, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that night, and took of that which he had with him, a present for Esau his brother, two hundred she-goats, and twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes, and twenty rams, thirty milk-camels, and their colts, forty cows, and ten bulls, twenty she-asses, and ten foals. And he delivered them into the hand of his servants, every drove by itself, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meeteth thee, and asketh thee, saying, Whose art thou, and whither goest thou, and whose are these before thee? Then thou shalt say, They are thy servant Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau, and behold, he also is behind us. And he commanded also the second, and the third, and all that followed the droves, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him, and ye shall say, Moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face. Peradventure he will accept me. So the present passed over before him, and he himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night, and took his two wives, and his two handmaids, and his eleven children, and passed over the ford of the Jabbok. And he took them, and sent them over the stream, and sent over that which he had. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was strained as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, 
I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for thou hast striven with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For, said he, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And the sun rose upon him as he passed over Peniel, and he limped upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not the sinew of the hip, which is upon the hollow of the thigh, unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew of the hip. End of chapter 32 Chapter 33 And Jacob lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, Esau was coming, and with him four hundred men. And he divided the children unto Leah, and unto Rachel, and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he himself passed over before them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck, and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes, and saw the women and the children, and said, Who are these with thee? And he said, The children whom God hath graciously given thy servant. Then the handmaids came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also and her children came near, and bowed themselves. And after came Joseph near, and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, What meanest thou by all this company which I met? And he said, To find favor in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Let that which thou hast be thine. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found favor in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand, forasmuch as I have seen thy face, as one seeth the face of God, and thou wast pleased with me. Take, I pray thee, my gift that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and that the flocks and herds with me have their young. And if they overdrive them one day, all the flocks will die. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on gently according to the pace of the cattle that are before me, and according to the pace of the children, until I come unto my Lord, unto Seir. And Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find favor in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir, and Jacob journeyed to Succoth, and built him a house, and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. And Jacob came in peace to the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padan Aram, and encamped before the city. And he bought the parcel of ground where he had spread his tent, at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for a hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar, and called it El Eloe Israel. End of chapter 33 
Chapter 34 And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And Shechem, the son of Hamor the Hivite, the prince of the land, saw her, and he took her, and lay with her, and humbled her. And his soul clave unto Dinah the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. Now Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah his daughter, and his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they came. And Hamor the father of Shechem went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came in from the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel in lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her unto him to wife, and make ye marriages with us. Give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you, and ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell, and trade ye therein, and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father, and unto her brethren, Let me find favor in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me. But give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamor his father with guile, and spake, Because he had defiled Dinah their sister, and said unto them, We cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. Only on this condition will we consent unto you, if ye will be as we are, that every male of you be circumcised. Then will we give our daughters unto you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter, and we will be gone." And their words pleased Hamor, and Shechem, Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was honored above all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shechem his son came unto the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us. Therefore let them dwell in the land, and trade therein, for, behold, the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will the men consent unto us to dwell with us, to become one people, if every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and all their beasts be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and unto Shechem his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city. And every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword, and came upon the city unawares, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house, and went forth. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain, and plundered the city, because they had defiled their sister. They took their flocks, and their herds, and their asses, and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and their wives, took they captive, and made a prey. 
even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me odious to the inhabitants of the land among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I, being few in number, they will gather themselves together against me and smite me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with a harlot? End of chapter 34 Chapter 35 And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God, who appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the foreign gods that are among you, and purify yourselves, and change your garments, and let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the foreign gods which were in their hand, and the rings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and a terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, the same is Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar, and called the place El Bethel, because there God was revealed unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried below Bethel under the oak, and the name of it was called Elon Bekoth. And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came from Padan Aram, and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins, and the land which I gave unto Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he spake with him, and Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he spake with him, a pillar of stone, and he poured out a drink offering thereon, and poured oil thereon, and Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was still some distance to come to Ephrath. And Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, for now thou shalt have another son. And it came to pass, as her soul was departing, for she died, that she called his name Ben-Onai, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, the same is Bethlehem. And Jacob set up a pillar upon her grave, the same is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed and spread his tent beyond the tower of Eder. And it came to pass, while Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard of it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, 
Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, that were born to him in Padan Aram. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father to Mamre, to Kiriath Arba, the same is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were a hundred and fourscore years, and Isaac gave up the ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people, old and full of days, and Esau and Jacob his sons buried him. End of chapter 35